Right, I am. Uh, I'm here with Blair Hamity. He's a professional stager, owner, and uh, operator of the largest um, staging company. Yeah, in all of New England. Is that right, or is it crazy? North? Yeah. So, uh, setting the space, Blair. Can you just tell me real briefly what the difference is? Because I think this is the big confusion between um, uh, staging and designing or decorating. And then we'll just take a walk through and see yeah. how we can fix this place. You know, it's a good question, and everybody asks this. But um, think about it. So, from if I were coming in here as an interior designer in slash stage, but I was really coming in as an interior designer, what I'm really doing now is talking about how the person who lives here is going to live, you know, and I'm not taking out the personal part of it, but the difference between a stager and a designer is, is that a stager is going to come in here with no objections or very, a very much unbiased opinion and start realizing that we have to get this house to the point where the unknown buyer is going to come in. So it's not about decorating, it's literally about the opposite, it's about undecorating. And if my whole background was design, it's going to really be hard for me to focus in on that because I'm going to want to make this look pretty or I'm going to want to make this look like um, it's a place that someone can um, be more specific to live in. So it's really taking the specificness out. And, and is that a huge part. And the one thing with our company, as you know, Mike, is number one, we've been around for nine years. So my personal experience is I've been in over 5,000, 6,000 homes. We've staged well over 5,000 homes. So my experience alone is just crazy. We've turned into the largest staging company in the United States. So I've been into a million different houses. I know what works and I know how to get into the prospective buyer's head. And the other thing too is, is that when we come into condos like this, you, you know, are bringing me doing a consultation and this is something that the homeowners can do themselves. It's not a lot of work. I make it very, very easy for them and I don't have to come back in here to do it. Now, there are definitely some homes that they may need to hire us to do and we may have to bring in some rental furniture or we may have to do something else. But at the same aspect, like I said, this can be a do-it-yourself. Cool. Sounds good. Perfect. All right, yeah. so let's talk about specifics about what I see. So, and this also goes back to the first question you asked about design work and staging work. So the window treatments that are hung here, this is design work, okay? This is something personal that to the homeowner. Mm -hmm. The, the prospective buyers could care less because at the end of the day, in the design world, there are shutters, there are reeded shades, you know, there's a ton of different stuff and you don't know, you and I do not know the buyer or the unknown buyer, what they're going to want. So the homeowner, what I ask for them to do is to remove all window treatment. So as we walk through the house, I'm going to say the same thing to you, Re remove all of the... Um, the window treatments. The Is that second, blinds and curtains? No, the blinds are always fine because at the end of the day, if they were old roller shades, I was in a house yesterday and it was old roller shades. Get rid of the roller shades because that's old. But these blinds are fine and what you're going to have them do or what you're going to do on a showing is you're going to open it like that is anyhow or you're going to do just the opposite. If you don't want them to see something outside, you're going to keep them half down. Okay, but keep those, but you want to take away the decorated. The second part of what we need to do is we need to make all spaces look much larger. Mm -hmm. Okay, we all get it. it either, it's, it's either small, medium, or large, but we need to make all spaces look larger than they are. So, all right, so over here, let's talk about some specifics. That piece of art needs to come down. Okay. That piece of art needs to come down, and that piece of art needs to come down. But this piece of art is fine. Okay? Got it. Okay, just some minor things, but it's important. Um, I would pull the rug up. Okay. Okay, take the rug away, and let's show off the hardwood floors. The rug is actually, it's, it's confusing my head, okay? It's confusing a buyer's head because there's so much going on. I would take the ottoman out of here, too. The sectional is pretty well defined. Take the ottoman out, take the rug out, and take those two little nightstands I have a feeling that you want the cats to sit up there, maybe, but um, anyhow. But in all seriousness, take the two little nightstands out. We don't need it. We've got a sectional. We've got an end table. You have a lamp. You have a floor lamp here. You have a sofa. You have the table. And that's all you need in the room to define the space. They are going to have to deal with the cat stuff. People are funny with animals. I'm a dog lover. I'm a cat lover. But the problem is, is you may have someone who comes in who, who are allergic to cats or afraid of cats. Mm -hmm. So they are going to have to put the cat stuff somewhere else. Okay. okay. And you're also going to have to deal with when it's time for the showing, how you deal with that. And it's just, it's not a personal thing. It's just that with unknown buyers, you have to deal with that. Right. Okay. The dining room 
is pretty well defined. Now again, what we're trying to do is create space. So the way to create space is to take the corner unit out, okay. to take the, um, the little thing, and again, I know that's for the cats, take that out, and take away the two green chairs. The table is big enough, and all we need to do is to have the four chairs there. Okay. And then what I would do is, let's take this, and let's just bring it in the room just a speck more. You know, and it's literally, it's just about another foot. Mm -hmm. Just move it in here just to create a little bit more space. Okay. Okay. The sticks that are over there, it's just extraneous. Take those away. And again, you have the cat stuff, and then take all this stuff off of the bottom. By doing all this, oh, and then as we're going here, mm -hmm. that's a great print, but let's take it out of the way. It's a narrow doorway, and we just don't need the print there. Okay. Okay, so that print can be gone. We may find a new home for that so with this, a second. So with yeah. this stand, we yeah. are removing the items off the lower shelf. Yeah. Anything on the top? Well, they've got a lamp on it, which is fine. Okay. The two owl things is fine, and the, the vase doesn't mean anything. Okay. Okay, but get rid of the big twigs here, but get rid of all the stuff on the bottom. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's creating space here. And now we have, you know, it's just tightened up is basically mm -hmm. what it is. Or it's, it's just going to make the space look a little larger by removing that rug and removing these pieces of furniture. You know, and you'll be fine as far as that goes. There is, I'm going to think about this for a second. You're going to have to make a decision. You, we just came in from the side door and we could. One of the things I would suggest is to play with this for a minute because I think if they take this and they put the sectional, the big part there, and this piece here, it's going to make the room look twice as big. Okay, so put the long side against the front windows, yeah. and then the short side against yeah. the other and, wall. Uh, okay. If, if um, the only thing you would have to make the determination of, by, so there's a trade-off, okay, and sometimes when you're staging it's a trade-off. If this place had been empty, I wouldn't stage with a sectional, okay? Because right. sectional is for living, and again, that goes back to interior designer and staging. Mm -hmm. So the trade-off is to keep the piece of furniture. It's going to be pretty long there. You're probably not going to be able to really utilize the door, but I think you'll be okay with that because you'll bring them in from the other door. Okay. Okay, but I think what you're going to find is by then putting the sectional that way, and then this piece here, mm -hmm. it's going to make the room look twice as big. Okay. Okay, and I get that. What we have here is they define the space here and here. Again, for living, mm -hmm. for interior design, it's fine. For staging, it's not fine. Got it. Okay, so just have them try that. You'll see that it's more space. Okay, cool. Okay. Um, let's go into the master bedroom first. Okay. okay. Master bedroom. It's tiny. Look, look what's happening already, right? Mm -hmm. So rug has to come out. Okay. Okay, so get rid of the rug. They've got the bed, which is fine. Window treatments down. Now again, by them taking these window treatments down and they've got the privacy with the blinds, it's just gonna make the room feel just a speck larger. That's mm -hmm. all it's gonna mm -hmm. do, okay? okay. Um, they've got two nightstands. If they can get rid of this piece, let's get rid of it. Okay. Okay, again, we've gotta just remember, living is one, staging is something else. We're trying to create space. The wedding picture has to come down because it's personal. Okay. Okay, the belts and the tie rack, if they can take it down, just put it behind the door. Okay. He, can, he can actually... Attach it to no, the No, well, he can, but there's already hooks there, but just take it down. Okay. All right. This looks like originally they had a system here mm -hmm. covering it. You know, this is where it can get a spec complicated. It looks like a long time ago there were probably some type of door system. Maybe they took it down, maybe the other, maybe before they had it, I have no idea. This can be a little complicated because most people don't want to see their clothes. Right. This is, out of everything in the room, out of everything in the house, this is going to be the most problematic thing. Okay. In what way? Well, because, think about it, it's just not appealing. Okay. All right, so a couple things. Number one, when you start to photograph the room, mm -hmm, right, mm -hmm. obviously you can photograph the room so you're not seeing this, and mm -hmm. that's what I would, mm -hmm. you know, hugely suggest. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we all come in here, and it's like, it's great, but, you know, is it going to look better with a curtain? Not necessarily. Could they have doors made for this? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Could the small investment of having the doors made you know, it's a little difficulty, but it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. it, it could make or break a lot of the deal. Okay. You know, and that's just something that, you know, it's the hardest thing here. So think about having a carpenter come in here and build some doors. Okay. Okay, so that's on the, 
That's on an important list, okay. and it's on the hardest list. How's that? Oh, okay. Makes right. sense. And then if that can't get done, Do the nothing. curtains? No, the curtains. Not even happen. curtains? Okay. No. Okay. okay. So that's somewhat that's important. But again, oh, and then the, empty all this stuff off. Okay. Okay, so empty this off. Rug out. Chest out. Ties out. Wedding picture out. And the window trimmings down. Got it. Okay. okay. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay, easy. Okay. We already talked about taking this down. Yeah. Okay. Bathroom. No big deal here. They've got matching curtain. You know what I mean? All this is fine and it, it looks fine. There's nothing, you know. The only thing you want to do in a bathroom is again, just take off the couple little items that are mm -hmm. there, mm -hmm. take the waste basket out, mm -hmm. take the toilet scrubber brush out, and take the magazine rack out that's in here. Okay. It, it almost looks gross, right? Yeah. And I know that's, but it just, it, it reminds people that people are using it and people hate that dairy. Mm -hmm. So just get rid of it. Okay. Okay. We'll talk about this in a sec. Kitchen area. Okay, down, 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 all this down. Okay. All right. All of the tchotchkes, the little chickens and accessories, take them down. Okay. So window treatment down. Anything off the top. Yep. Down. Take it down. Window treatment. Down. All this stuff, right here. Mm -hmm. Take it down. Okay. Put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Empty. 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 Now here's the theory with the kitchen. When you have stuff on the cabinets, and take the two little towels down and take the rug up. When you have the, two, the stuff on the cat, I'm sorry, when you have the stuff on the counters, there's no counter space, right? Well, in theory, when you pull it all off, someone can see space, and that's all it's about. Okay, mm -hmm. granite cells, mm -hmm. so that's a huge thing. Stainless cells, tile cells, mm -hmm. okay? So they're all, and they have stainless knobs, so they're ahead of the game. Just get rid of all the stuff. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 How about this one? Yeah. I don't mind... I don't mind the piece. That piece actually works very well there. Mm -hmm. You know, and, you know, here's a few things out of there. But they've got the cookbooks, which is pretty cool. And they've got booze, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Pot rack is pretty cool. You know, I would just say empty off. This is nothing here anyhow. Just take all that stuff off, leave it up. empty. But I actually think that this is a great utilization of the kitchen because they've got the rack here. Mm -hmm. They've got their pots on it, which is fine. And all this is good. If they can put this away... Got yeah, it. put this somewhere else right mm -hmm. here. And even this piece works in the kitchen, so I wouldn't mind that. Okay. Just nothing on the tops, basically. Yeah. Okay. All right. Makes sense? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Very simple and very easy. Okay. Last problematic room. This is supposed to be a bedroom, and I think you're going to have to mark it that way. Yep. So if they... All right. There's two situations. Number one, if they can take this out. Okay, they do have closet space, so they can remove this virtually, virtually if they can empty the entire room, okay? Okay. And if they have a mattress and box screen, they can put in here. Okay. All right? If they need to rent a blow-up bed from us, they can rent a blow-up bed from us. But I think that if you are showing this like this, you're going to have difficulties. It looks small. This definitely makes it look small, you know, but if you put a bed in here and the bed can go exactly this way or it can go this way, it's not going to matter. Okay. All right, just a bed, bedding on it, one nightstand, one lamp, and you're done. Okay, do you, do you take a nightstand from the other bedroom? Yeah, take the nightstand from the other bedroom. Okay. okay, and if they happen to have an extra mattress or something, great, and if they don't, like I said, they can either buy something or they can rent one or they can buy one else or whatever. All right. Okay. Cool. I think you're in good shape. What about around the corner here? Oh yeah, sorry. So and I think I think they have a curtain. Um, yeah, well, there's a curtain already on it. So just basically cover that. Yeah, you gotta um, deal with the cat litter boxes again. It's just a um, thing. Clean it all out. Deal with the cat litter boxes. You know, some, I don't know if they have a basement. And again, when you're doing showings, mm -hmm. you know, but just clean it up. Okay. Whether the car the curtain is there or not there, if they clean it up, it is a closet. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all. Whatever. And they do have a basement, so they can put some stuff down there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, I'm going to stop recording here.